Hey guys, David Patrick Green, davidpatrickgreen.com, hackhollywood.com, and actorpower.com. Just got a real quick one, uh, but this is an extremely advanced strategy, guys. And so please uh, keep it to yourselves. Don't share this one because if everyone does it, then it won't work. Uh, but for those of you who feel you're at the advanced stage in your acting careers, where you feel like you're ready to jump to that professional level, you know, you've, you've done the work, you're feeling good about yourself, this is how uh, you can do it. This is at least one way you can do it. Okay, so this strategy is, I don't have a name for it, but basically it's the, instead of a million to one, it's one to a million. And what I mean by that is that most actors will go to events for actors, okay? So for instance, if you live in Los Angeles or New York, you might go to Screen Actors Guild Foundation events or the Screen Actors Guild puts on different events. Actors go and there are some industry people there to talk, act as panels or what have you, but it's a lot of actors and very few industry people. Hence the million to one description that I just gave you. But how easy is it? You get some information from these people. Maybe it's usable, maybe it's not. It probably isn't because it's all general and you need to understand how to apply it to your own specific situation. And they don't teach you that unless you actually get a chance to talk to these people one-on-one. -on -one. And as soon as the event is over, a few of the keeners run up to the front and they line up and they're like, <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> you know, and give them credit for trying to talk to these people. But unfortunately, I'm not going to give them credit because they have no idea what to say or ask or do. But let's just forget all that. Why go to an event where you are one of a million actors? What we want to do, and this is the advanced strategy, and this is why you can't share this or, or it won't be one to a million anymore. What we want to do is create one actor in a sea of industry people. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? Well, it's really not hard to do at all. You see, the industry is made up of all kinds of different groups of people, right? You've got cinematographers, you've got accountants, finance specialists, directors, producers, writers, casting directors, and they all have various organizations and associations, not to mention post-production, pre-production, special effects, sound, music, uh, you know, the list goes on, digital media, it's an infinite number of groups of people that are in the business. And they may not all be decision makers, but I'll guarantee you this, somehow, some way, they know decision makers because the decision makers hire them. Okay, so moving on. So what we will do is we want to attend events of these groups. So the obvious ones are producers, directors, and writers because they are theoretically and most often the decision makers in who gets the jobs, uh, the acting jobs, and casting directors to a certain extent as well. Their decision is who to bring in. But if you have a relationship with a producer, they will tell the casting director to bring you in, and the casting director really has no alternative but to do so. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to contact the organizations that these people are members of. So in the case of producers, directors, and writers, they all have guilds, okay? Producers Guild, Directors Guild, Writers Guild. Contact the guilds and find out what events they have in your area. Whatever they are, it doesn't really matter. So long as producers, writers, and directors are gonna be there, you wanna be there. Because when you go to one of these events, it won't be a thousand actors and a few industry people. It'll be one actor and a thousand industry people, okay? So you will have your pick of the crop. So you just want to attend these events and try and find out if you can in advance who's going to be there. Um, try and find out what the event's about and try and familiarize yourself a little bit about their process so you have something to talk about. And then go to the event and start introducing yourself to people because I think they will find that or you will find that it's fascinating for these people to be talking to actors when they're normally talking to other producers constantly. And they don't really, un really understand what the actor's process and all that is. And of course, you don't understand what their process is, so there's a really good meeting of the minds there. Uh, the other amazing opportunity 
that's probably even better than going as an attendee is to volunteer to help out at an event like these guilds would put on for their members. So you could sit at the front desk and hand out name tags. Imagine at a luncheon and people are wearing name tags. You're handing out the name tags. So what does that mean? Well, that means you have a list of every single attendee and you're going to meet every single one of them and you're going to know what they look like. Because most people don't know what producers and directors and writers look like. Even if they knew their names, they wouldn't even know if they ran into them on the street or in a cafe. So you're going to actually say, Hi, Mr. Spielberg, here's your name tag. And he's going to go, thank you, David. Nice to meet you. And if you have a special reason to want to talk to Mr. Spielberg later, well, you can call his office and say, hey, I was talking to Mr. Spielberg at the luncheon today and I wanted to offer my services to him or I wanted to talk to him about something. That's a whole different video. But basically, if you can volunteer and help out at these events, then it's inevitable that you're going to meet the people who attend the events. Not only that, you're going to meet and get to know the people who put on these events, and so they know the comings and goings of all these producers, directors, and writers. Now, the producers and writers and directors, they're just, you know, the direct decision makers to hiring actors. But there's also all of the people one layer outside of them and another layer outside of them, such as, like I said before, special effects, cinematographers, editors, um, pre-production people, location scouts, all of these people are worthy to get to know and to go to their events because you can have fun. They're not used to having actors in their midst and they might have interesting questions for you. You might make some really good friends. You'll learn more about how the business works. And if you know how the business works, you will have such an advantage over all of the other actors who just see the business in a very, very narrow scope, basically just in terms of they, you know, all the weights on them. They think acting is so important. And the more you know about the business, the more you realize that acting is such a small part of the business. It's such a small part of putting together a film project or a TV project or even a, even a stage project. You know, actors are replaceable as, as replaceable as anybody else, frankly. I mean, sure, there's a best choice and there's a second best choice, but that's equally true with everyone else. The lighting people, the grips, the gaffers, the craft service people. It's all, there's a, you know, there's a hierarchy of best choice to worst choice. And, um, you know, so all of these people have an integral part in making these productions. And it's really important that you understand your role within everybody else's role. And you'll understand it's not that important. So don't make such a big deal out of being an actor, okay? Like we're just so focused on ourselves. Nobody else is really paying attention to us. And hence the fact that none of these people even know actors and they have no idea what they do. So there it is, guys. Super secret strategy for meeting people in the business, uh, getting to the decision makers. If you can't get them, get to them directly, then get to them through their cohorts, the extensions of them, the other parts of the business that they work with, and they'll introduce you. Uh, and if you get a referral from somebody, hey, you got to meet David, he's fantastic. And the producer will be like, oh, okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this, guys. It's super easy strategy, um, but you really don't want to do it until you have something to offer. Uh, you don't have to be a fantastic actor to do it, but you have to have something to offer because ideally you're going to, when you meet these people, you're not just going to go, oh, hi, uh, can I have an acting job? Like I've never done anything in my life. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, don't be that guy, don't be that woman. Um, but figure out what have you done in your life? What is there that you have to offer these people and help them with it, get to know them. And it won't be long, and I'm not kidding, it won't be long before if your skills are there, you'll have opportunities and you can say, hey, I can help you with that opportunity as well, which happens to be an acting job. It's exactly what I did to book my very first job on a top 10 TV show. I did something similar to book another job within weeks on another top 10 TV show. It's also how I turned one TV commercial into four, including a writing job, and I got a check for writing a commercial that I didn't even ask for, all through getting to know people in the business. All right, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this, um, like it. And by the way, this is a request. So this is my first requested video from a comment uh, a said, hey, please do a video about this. Well, here it is. I can't remember what your, uh, your, 
your screen name is, but this is for a request, so the person who requested it will know. Um, it was in my last video. And so, hey, thanks for the request. Here you go. Uh, like this, please. Uh, share it, please. And hit that little bell so you get notifications because it's not gonna get much better than this and you're not really gonna hear this anywhere else. This goes against the grain. That's what I'm all about, going against the grain. Because you know what? There's no one, I'm, I'm like, like I said in my uh, earlier talk, who wants to be a million actors with one job opportunity? I wanna be the only actor in slightly unfamiliar territory, but not being too scared to navigate that and reaping the benefits. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon.